Hey, what's happening? Today I'm gonna make tomato braised goat for supper. And uh, goat meat is one of my favorite meats, next to pork. One of the most widely consumed meats on the planet. It's starting to get a lot more popular in North America. I've been eating goat since the late 80s. My favorite is a curried goat roti. Yum yum. Alrighty, this is what we're gonna need. We're gonna need some goat. Here's some goat chops. These ones are pretty big. That must have been one hell of a goat. Got them from a uh, farm just down the road. The guy raises goats. And uh, you, get, you can go and pick the one you want even. So this is what we're gonna need. We got goat. Fresh garlic. I can use about four or five cloves. I love garlic. Onion, not the soap. I'm gonna use garlic powder a bit when we season the meat. Red wine, a bit of chicken stock. Fresh rosemary, if you don't have fresh, well, you can use dried. Tomato paste, tomato sauce, diced tomatoes, bay leaves, a little bit of Italian seasoning and we're gonna use egg noodles today extra broad this recipe is vault boy approved there you go alrighty and we need to drink Woo! right on alrighty We'll be back. We'll get everything ready. Oh, I'm missing one thing. A green bell pepper. I'll get that out of the fridge. All right. You thought something didn't look right. Awesome. We'll be back. Hey, we're back. Got the uh, onions and the uh, green bell peppers uh, all chopped up. The garlic minced. I got four large cloves of garlic here. Uh, we're gonna use one sprig of rosemary. You can just throw this in the pan, uh, let it bubble away, the leaves will fall off and you're good to go. Personally, I don't like that. Uh, it looks like Christmas tree needles floating around in my uh, food and I just don't like that. So I've taken the same one sprig and just peeled the leaves off and chopped them up. It's the way I do it. I don't know, kind of anal that way. Um, I was supposed to do this yesterday, actually, but I got so wasted I couldn't even make myself a tuna sandwich. That's the thing. I only make this a couple of times a year. Sure, it's not a big deal. It takes a lot of time. That's why I love the crock pot. Get drunk, pass out, wake up, you got food. Can't do that on the stove. Uh, that's just big trouble in little China, if you know what I mean. So, let's uh, season this up. A little bit of sea salt. Fresh ground pepper. And a little bit of garlic powder. Sure, we have all this fresh garlic here, but when you're browning the meat, it just uh, makes it taste a lot nicer. That's more for the sauce. And I like a thick sauce, so that's why I have tomato sauce and tomato paste going in with my tomatoes. If you don't like that, leave that out. Or use that and that and that, because we're only going to use about half of that. But let's get some garlic powder on here. And then we'll be back. I'll flip them over, do the other side, heat the pan up, we'll brown the meat, and we'll be good to go. Alrighty, and drink a beer. Woo! Oh. Steam whistle. I don't have any steam whistle. It's expensive beer. I gotta drink the cheap beer. And by cheap beer, 24 cheap beers where I live, 33 bucks. Let me know 
how much you pay for 24 beers. Like I said, a 2-4 of cheap beer here in Ontario, 33 bucks. That sucks ass. Alrighty. Woo! Alrighty. We got a nice hot pan going. Some olive oil in there. And uh, let's get ready to brown this stuff up. I said, this must have been a big fucking goat because uh, these things are huge. There you go. Nice. Awesome. Do about two or three minutes. More or less. Until they're nice and brown each side. Two or three minutes. And then remove them. Very nice. Alrighty. We'll let these brown up. And uh, we'll be back. And uh, oh, don't forget to drink while you're doing this. I had to get a new beer. Rock on! Woo! Awesome. All right, we'll get these browned up, take them out, and we'll do the rest. We'll be back. All righty. We're uh, good to go. Nice and brown. Turn it down a notch here. Oh. Look out. Bastard. Alright, get out of here. Alright. Well, that's done. Yeah. Watch it. Put these uh, peppers and uh, onions in here. Put these in here for. Yeah, three or four minutes. Just to soften them up a bit. After a few minutes, then we'll uh, throw in the uh, garlic and uh, the rosemary. Yeah, about three, four minutes. All right, rock on, drink a beer. Woo! Yeah, baby! All right, it's been about four minutes. Our onions have uh, changed color and so are our green peppers. And I'm still drinking. Let's uh, throw this in. This is our garlic and our rosemary. Give this a couple of minutes. Oh, it smells awesome. We actually uh, we'll give it about a minute. Nice. And then, red wine. I don't know, I've been told by a gazillion people, oh, you're doing it wrong. Well, guess what? If you read my titles, it's my way. And if you read my about page, I do things my way. This is, when you're drunk, you don't give a shit. And I don't, because uh, if you want to try it my way, go ahead. You'll be pleasantly surprised, I tell you that. All right, let's give her a shot of juice. So what do we got here? We got the Gato Negro. Fine uh, 
product of uh, Chile. It's a nice wine. Ah, yes, it is. So we're going to use about a cup. So a cup is about that much. Huh. Works for me. And another splash. And another splash for me. So, we'll let this cook off for about three or four minutes. I spilled some. It's alcohol abuse. Don't write me up for that, please. You should take that stuff out. No, no. No, no. So yeah, let's uh, let the alcohol uh, burn off, and uh, about yeah, three four minutes, and we'll be back. And oh yes, I'm mixing wine and beer. Big deal. Woo! I'm a piss tank. Come on. Wait until this part's done, because it's gonna take a couple hours to uh, braise everything. I'm going to eat uh, half of the magic cookie. This batch is absolutely insane. One cookie, I will not be able to finish this. I'll be too stoned to get off the couch. Couch lock. All right, we'll be back. All righty, we're back. Woo! And. Uh, yeah, throw a chunk of butter in there. Just butter's like bacon. Bacon makes everything taste better. So does butter. Why not? Alrighty. Don't ask why. I don't know. Just I do crazy shit, and that's the way it is. It's been about four minutes. Uh, the wine is reduced right down and look why spend the extra money on purple onions you put the red wine in there your white onions turn purple Woo! look at that eh? who knew I guess a lot of people knew but you know just one of them one of them dare things all right so let's put in our diced tomatoes There you go. Mix her all up. Now we're going to put in our goat. Goat is good. Goat rocks. I wish I knew how to make a good roadie. I don't. I've tried a million times and it never comes out right. The actual curried goat filling comes out great. My roadie skins suck ass. That's why I go and see a lovely Jamaican lady about 40 minutes away. She has awesome roadie. And possibly later this week or early next week, I'll be going to visit her. And uh, I just might do a uh, Nice little uh, presentation of what she has to offer. So, in goes this. Nice. Put in your juice too. Get in there. Oh, I spilled some. Clean up your mess. Messy is not good. Clean up your mess. Alright. So, we'll put in probably about half of this chicken stock. This is one thing you keep your eye on. Depends upon how thick you want it. So we'll put in about half, actually. Here. 
always a That works. And clean up the spill. We're going to put in some hot Hungarian paprika. Probably, I don't measure it. It's probably half to three quarters, maybe a full tablespoon, or a teaspoon. Teaspoon, not tablespoon. Unless you want it really hot. I do not. There, there we go. That's what I need. A bay leaf. One bay leaf. One deformed bay leaf. Alrighty, and we need to have a sip of beer. And, uh, oh. Put in some Italian seasoning. Oh, I think. That much. Not a full tablespoon, but yeah, that works. You don't want to go overboard because there is rosemary in that. Alrighty. And we'll put in some tomato sauce. Plain Jane tomato sauce. Nothing special. And a bit of tomato paste. There you go. And we're gonna let this go probably how time is it now? It's almost ten. Uh three hours, maybe four. Might be ready by one in the morning. Maybe two. I don't know, we'll see. See how messed up I am. And uh, it'll be done by then, absolutely. It's about three hours. And I would keep it on a medium low heat. Not too low, not too high. Cover it up, and then you're good to go. Woo! Am I forgetting anything? A little splash of that. Depending upon how thick or thin you want it, keep that on hand. Chops are nicely uh, submerged. Oh, and the guy, the butcher, he euchred me, eh? I was supposed to get all loin chops. These are shoulder chops. I'm slightly complaining. I paid for loin chops. The other two packs were loin chops. These ones, shoulder chops. Oh well. So let's turn this down to medium low. Cover it up. Do I have a lid? Yes, I do. Alrighty. Give it a stir like every half hour, 45 minutes, something like that. However you see fit. Alrighty. Woo! I'm gonna go eat a cookie. Well, maybe I'll bring the cookies out here and show you my cookies. I don't know, they just look like cookies. But they're awesome. Alrighty, we'll be back. Huh. I'm back unexpectedly. It's uh I don't know, it's been like two minutes since the last uh, portion, I went to grab my box of cookies and I realized that, see, look, it's not even bubbling good enough yet. I forgot uh, one big thing. Uh, I got my cookies, I didn't forget that, but I didn't put any uh, salt or pepper in this. I did the season the meat, but I don't know. This much, I sea salt, that much. Good enough. Another splash for good luck. So I'm forgetting something. Yeah. Salt and pepper. So, put 
put some uh, fresh ground pepper in here as well as the salt. It would have been uh, pretty bland. Alrighty. Experiment. Give it, oh, where's my stirring thing? Hey, there you go. Yeah, that's a little better. I would have tasted it after a couple of hours and said, hey, something ain't right. But, get her done now. Glad I remembered. It's like, wait a minute, something's going on. Something ain't right. Alrighty, lid. So I did went to the other room. I did went. What kind of English is that? I did go, or I went, to uh, go and get some cookies. And here we are. Oh, look at these bad boys. Yeah, they just look like normal cookies. Well, guess what? They're not. These ones are absolutely ridiculous. They take about an hour to hit you, and uh, yeah, like I said, a whole one, uh-uh, ain't good. So, we'll do half. Here you go. <laughs> I'll be uh, flying high again, as my friend Ozzy says, uh, when we come back. Oh. Chocolate chips. Mmm. Nom 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 nom. Mmm. Look. And don't forget the crumbs. Because uh, there's THC in the crumbs. That's the thing. When you make these kind of cookies, you don't waste any dough, you don't waste any crumbs. Because, woo! They're good and high. And if you have body pains like I do, it gets rid of your pain, but it also makes you kind of reckless. All right. Cheers, big ears. Woo! Rock on. We'll be back. Hey, we're back. Oh, it's been about three and a half hours. I started playing a video game. Next thing you know, you lose track of time. Well, noodles are done. Our goat is done. So I'll uh, plate it up. This is like fall off the bone, beautiful, tender, awesome. I'll plate it up and we'll be back. Alrighty. Rock on! Woo! Alrighty, we're back. Noodles are done. We gotta find one of these chops. There's one. There we go. That's nice. Here we go with a bit of sauce. Okay. There, a little better interview. They grated some fresh parmesan. Come here. Okay. Now. There we go. Oh, I got a drip. Oh, do we have to be like really anal about how it looks? Okay, this is supper in my house. I'm not in some fancy restaurant and I ain't gonna go there. And some more of this Parmesan here. 
And there we go. That's awesome. It smells amazing. Actually, you know what? It, uh, and tasting it, the amount of uh, Hungarian uh, hot uh, paprika that I put on there, it has a nice little bit of heat on it. I was thinking of adding uh, some chili flakes, but I don't know. It doesn't really need it. Well, what do you think? Should we? I gotta be careful. I can't eat uh, a lot of hot stuff. It interferes with my medication. Yes, I'm. I am medicated. Uh, in more ways than one. The cookie is. And because I'm such a salt fanatic, put a little bit of salt on there too. Look at that. All right. Look out. I'm dropping shit. Let's try this out. Mmm. Quite nice. The egg noodles, the sauce is dynamite. Mm. Hello. Mm. Bone. Let's go right here. No bone. Oh. Look at that. Just break apart. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh, good. And this, this is just a piece of that. That's not even meat. Mm. Oh, it's awesome. Holy crap. Alrighty. Well, here you go. <clears throat> now, You might think I'm really stoned. I am. And a bit drunk. But I actually did make a pizza dough because the leftovers from this is going to be made tomorrow into a pizza. The leftovers is? No, the leftovers are going to be made into a pizza. Uh, actually, a really awesome goat pizza not just goat meat there's other goat products involved so I will film that and we're gonna rock on Woo! and we're gonna drink and hey Vault Boy he approves Vault Boy likes the goat too bad in Vault Boy's time there hasn't been any goats Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Oh, there's a chunk of meat. Yummy. Alrighty. Well, try this out. Because this is awesome. And if you're afraid of the goat, use lamb instead. Lamb is very close to goat. But, it's not a goat. Alrighty, rock on, woo, and drink on, and make magic cookies and eat them. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, until next time, well until tomorrow, tomorrow's pizza day. Alrighty, this is it, done.